Hey guys! So ever since I uploaded my last few videos where I've been wearing this hairstyle, I've gotten a ton of requests to do a video. So today I'm going to show you how to do this messy crown braid hairstyle. It looks kind of bohemian, very appropriate for spring and summer. So if you want to know how to do this, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start out by making a pretty low, well, I'm going to say side parting, but it's not a parting. I'm just going to grab a section of hair from here. And I'm going to grab it like this, because that's the direction that I'm going to go in. So I'm going to divide this into three sections and braid them as if I were making a Dutch braid. So I'm going to go under and under. This is going to make the, pop, uh, the braid lay on top of your head instead of being woven in. So now I'm going to start doing a lace braid all around my head, which means I have this outer section right here. I'm going to take a little bit of hair that's left here and add that to this section and braid again. So braid and braid and then do that again. Grab another section just like that. Braid, braid and that is pretty much it guys. That's all there's to it. Now the trickiest part is making the braid go where you want it to go. So, around your head. And once it gets uncomfortable to hold your hands like this, I'm going to show you how to switch hands. So, what I like to do is I stick my pinky in here, then another finger there, and another one there, so that I have the section separated. Then I take my other arm around my head, and I grab the first one, like that. And now I can comfortably keep on braiding like I did. So I'm just going to keep on taking sections from my hairline and adding them. And now it's all up to you how high or low you want your uh, crown braid to be. I like mine a little bit higher, so I'm just going to guide my braid in that direction. And then when it gets uncomfortable again, I'm going to do the same thing. So stick my pinky in between here, the other fingers there, wrap my hand around my head again, and keep on going. Okay, so let me turn around again. This, I find, is the trickiest part, the one where you have to go up again to make it a full circle. So really all you need to do is make sure that you really pull tight on these parts. so that you don't get any weird bumps in there. Okay, so now all my hair is added into the crown braid. So I'm just going to finish this braid all the way to the end and then tie it off with a little hair elastic. Okay, so I have finished my braid and now I can see I have a crown braid all around my head. So now what I'm going to do is fluff this up. Um, we're going to make it a big, romantic, messy kind of hairstyle. So I'm just going to grab, let me go a little bit closer. Where my braid is, I'm just going to start tugging on these little side sections. So just pulling it out, do that all down the length of my braid as well. Okay, so now all that's left to do is just wrap the braid around your head like that. And I like to Tuck it underneath here and pin it down. So I like to start pinning where the braiding stops. So where it's not lace braided to my head anymore. That's where I like to start pinning it down. And I kind of push the pins into the braid so that they are hidden. Just like that. Okay, so now I like to just grab a few pieces of hair in the front here, just pull random strands of hair out, again to enhance that kind of romantic, messy look. So just 
pulling it out. And this is great about this hairstyle. Actually, the messier it looks, the better. Um, so you don't even have to worry about making a perfect braid. But uh, yeah, this is the finished hairstyle. It may look a little bit complicated, it definitely looks very impressive and beautiful, but uh, once you practice it a few times, you will certainly get it down. I can do this in five minutes now, um, so yeah, it's actually a lot faster than styling your hair or doing like complicated things. And it is very beautiful, perfect for the summer and spring weather, where you just want your hair out of your face. And I love this hairstyle with a maxi dress. Isn't this the perfect hairstyle for a maxi dress? I uploaded a blog post yesterday about um, Makeup 101, the basics of eyeshadow application, like what color goes where and why. So if you want to go check that out, please do, it's on loopsy.com. Um, but that's all that I have for you today. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye! Hey guys! So I've been getting a few requests to do a spring bridal makeup look. So today I thought I would show you how to do this makeup. Okay, so now I have all my hair added into the crown braid. Okay, so now all my hair is 